Hello, this is EGN 83B with the Jewel Ringer 2.0 with a modified inverter and earth crowns. This inverter that I have has been totally gutted out. All that remains is just the transformer and a transistor, a bump switch, and that's really about it. It's just been rewired back to the case with the circuit board other than the one that was originally in it. But the reason I did this video was because I wanted to show a fellow user that the drill ringer can run his LED lights and get 90% of the way of brightness comparable to being on the, on the mains outlet. Because I saw he had an inverter and I thought it wasn't all that efficient. But as far as this setup goes right here, it runs more efficient than my hand wound jewel ringer that I had built in my last video at a startup current is at 550 milliamps and then once the capacitor holds a little bit of a charge it starts bumping down to about 225 milliamps there's 18 volts of an AC signal coming between the two earth grounds and I've so far lit up CFL LED lamps and a 7 watt filament lamp and this thing does bite and it's not like the regular hand wound transformer that I had built a couple of months ago this one right here is actually a 400 watt transformer from out of the 400 watt inverter that I had bought originally it was under a name brand that started with a V and it had basically died because I hooked up an ignition coil to it and I destroyed it but anyway that was for, for some fun I had but this setup right here, you got the 12 volt battery, the ferrite core with the lens wire, the transistor, which can be pretty much any of them out there. The ones that connect up to a case or a piece of metal for a heat sink are the best ones I've seen. As long as we have capacitance on that transistor where it can sink the heat and take a little bit of an earth ground or even a virtual ground, that's where the efficiency comes from in the circuit. I'm thinking it's just working just as a capacitor on this transistor and I mean I've been exploring this thing slowly just finding little pieces to the puzzle every time I look at it I know this circuit's been overplayed on YouTube for a while and people are probably tired of it but I still love the fact that you can light up LED lamps with this really well and I'm using two earth grounds I'm using one outside this one right here has a two foot copper pipe that I sunk into the ground about three years ago and it's just been sitting and it gets rained on people walk on it and it's still running fine this one right here is my actual mains for my home because I didn't set up a second ground but as long as you got space between them it acts like a capacitor and there's like like two nano farads is about what I measured with a meter but I don't know if that's even true or not but you could replace these grounds with a capacitor and it should still work it just changes the capacitance a little bit having a real ground is actually beneficial but if you don't have the real ground then you can always go with a capacitor right there anyway this is my inverter here it's just using just one of these little plug-in deals that you can buy at the store they're like a dollar or two to put a lamp into a socket it's got a, um, a bump right here for bumping the transistor off of the um, off the base here to the, to the negative it just starts you hold it down and then you flip this over because sometimes it don't want to start but that's just the nature of the beast here but I would open this but this just it's just a pain in the butt but I can give you a look down the hall there there's nothing really in there but the old transformer that was originally in this unit it has the battery cables where they originally were I wired those up it does have a ground on it there from the original from the factory the ground that I'm using is one off of a, a laptop cord and it's coming off the ground side and then comes up over here excuse the mess and um, basically it's right here anyway 
I just end up plugging this up and this comes right off of the uh, the base on the side right here is where it's actually wired into and it does work it, this unit is actually pretty portable or you can do it as uh, an earthbound type of deal this case adds capacitance and uh, it lets the uh, heat travel really well so this aluminum case is done well but you could do it on a plastic converter too I imagine it'll work but you might have to do a metal um, heat sink on the inside and ground it to a place where you could get a screw or something on your case but this right here is just basic re upcycling or some people call it recycling but whatever anyway here's our five uh, microfarad capacitor and then here's our LED lamp and it's using one of these plugs too and it comes out pretty bright and then this right here is my outside two foot copper earth ground and this circuit actually comes up pretty well I'll flip it on and this thing is really bright I mean real bright and you gotta be careful because it does bite I mean this lights up the room real real bright at night but if I unplug this earth ground right here it goes out it doesn't work anymore but if I put it back on it comes up if I um, plug it it goes out if I plug it back in it goes in but it has to have the two earth grounds otherwise it don't work anyway it does mess with the microphone on this thing a little bit too I don't know you can hear in that.